It's Al Cole from CBS Radio, host of the syndicated talk show, People of Distinction, cluing you in that in our 21st century, I'll tell you, products and services are sold through video. <laughs> That's right. So sell it through video at Al Cole Enterprises and SAG 14 Production Company. You got it. And right now you got it too. enjoy another outstanding audio clip from our international guest list featuring my son, the fantastic Benji Cole on People of Distinction. And on the line with us today, we have John Husher. We'll be discussing his fantastic book, Beyond Global Warming, The Bigger Problem in Real Crisis, available for purchase through Amazon as well as barnesandnoble.com. And I will say, John was brought to our network, People of Distinction, today by some of the best movers in the business, Lit Prime Publishing. So if you have a book that you'd like moved, do yourself a favor and contact Lit Prime. You can find out more information on them at litprime.com. Sit back, strap in, and get ready for a fantastic education because that is exactly what you're going to receive today. And John is the expert. As I stated, he's done the research. He's put the book together. He's going to be able to articulate all of the nuances much better than I ever could. So without further ado, John, first and foremost, welcome to People of Distinction again. And thank you for being a guest. How are you? Well, I'm glad to be here. I'm I'm in good shape. I'm uh, getting old. I'm 89 years old. Uh, four or five months from now, I'll be 90. So I've been around a while. I'm an electrical engineer by education, and, and I left the invention I did on uh, silicon integrated circuits back in 2002 and uh, started to write different books. Then uh, in the early 2000s, I started to read about various people saying that uh, global warming is going to occur and, and was occurring and uh, the reasons why, and they were given various reasons, but the main reason uh, came up that it was automobiles. Generation of carbon dioxide from automobiles, which would cause a temperature increase in the earth. So I, I reviewed that along with other things that could cause it, the, the growth of our population, mm-hmm. the, the various uses of oil and gasoline around the world and how it could impact the various portions of uh, our temperature, if possible. And uh, as I went through this, one of the interesting things that I noticed back then was there was a, a compound curve put out by two climatologists, Cliff Harris and uh, Randy Mann, and it went from two, 2200 B- B.C., before Christ, to uh, present on uh, 2005. Now, during that time, the Earth's surface, they considered being neutral when it was 57 degrees. That's the average temperature of Earth. There's some colder than that or some hotter than that, but the average is 57 degrees. Uh, it has gone through four cycles with increase in current uh, temperature and four cycles going down in cooling. Uh, one of the things that concerned me was I've not read anything from anybody about why Earth would cool, yet it did go. And in fact, one of the problems that this curve projects is that going down in temperature, it goes deeper and deeper and deeper each time. The lowest it got was around uh, 1607, uh, around Jamestown being founded in Virginia. At that time, the temperature was uh, 54.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, here's the interesting point. At that time, just around 1800, temperature started to increase. That was 1600, I'm sorry, 1607. The temperature started to increase. It's had its biggest increase over the next couple hundred years to 1800. It, it went from 54.3 Fahrenheit to 57. It, what is considered the average temperature of Earth on a, 
good day, whatever. Now, the thing that's important is this huge increase from 54.3 to 1,800 and something, being the biggest increase, was prior to automobiles. It was prior to the founding of oil and gasoline. So there was no way that gasoline or cars could have impacted the earth by this huge change from 54.3 to, to 57 degrees. It's Al Cole from CBS Radio, host of the syndicated talk show, People of Distinction, cluing you in that in our 21st century, I'll tell you, products and services are sold through video. <laughs> That's right, so sell it through video at Al Cole Enterprises and SAG 14 Production Company. You got it, and look forward to enjoying other outstanding audio clips from our international guest list featuring my son, the fantastic Benji Cole, on People of Distinction.